Hello, friends. Welcome to a new happy learning video. Have you noticed that nowadays most cars have a GPS, and that the GPS is useful to find your way around without getting lost? And have you ever thought how they manage to know where each place is? Well, it's very easy because they have many maps inside of them. Today, we're going to find out what maps are and what they are used for. First of all, what is a map? A map is a graphic representation of all or part of the Earth's surface, including the seas and oceans. In other words, a map is a drawing that gives us information. It's a drawing that can show us what the shape of each territory is like, how it is divided, and where the islands, rivers, and many other things are. For example, pirates used maps to know on which island they had hidden their treasure, so they would not forget it. But apart from that, what else are maps good for? Well, for many things. To learn where each continent and each country or each city is. Or to know where there's a desert. Or maybe even where penguins live. But because there are so many different places on our planet, different types of maps have been invented. Hydrographic maps, climate maps, historical maps, tourist maps. Some of them are true works of art. Here you can see a super old one. Today, we're going to learn about three types of maps, political maps, physical maps, and mute maps. Political maps show us how the continents, countries, and cities are divided and what they are called. Look! This is a political map of Mexico. This is a political map of Europe. And this is a political map of Italy. It looks like a boot, doesn't it? The physical maps do not just show us the cities or countries, but also the mountains, rivers, And if there are jungles, lakes, or deserts. This river you can see here is the Amazon. One of the most important rivers in the world, full of piranhas. And caimans. Maps have been used all over the world and have a series of symbols so that we can understand them. For example, this drawing you can see here is called a compass rose. And it is the symbol that shows the cardinal points. It tells us where north, south, east and west are which are fundamental to know how to orientate ourselves. Another important element in maps is the scale. The scale indicates how many times a place is reduced to fit in a drawing. Because of course, if we were to draw its real size, there wouldn't be enough paper in the world. For example, a one-to-one -one scale drawing 
would be the real size. Well, a 1 to 2 scale means that the object has been reduced by half. This map of Spain is at a scale of 1 to 3 million, which means we've had to reduce Spain 3 million times so that we can see it here. What a good invention this scale thing is, eh? So cool! Oh, I forgot! The mute maps are missing. As they are so quiet, I had forgotten about them. The mute maps are political or physical maps in which none of the names of anything appear. So you can write everything you've learnt on them. Oh, and now I think about it, isn't it a good job that there aren't mute GPS maps? Because otherwise, we get lost all the time. Goodbye friends, see you in the next video.